Good afternoon everyone. So today we have a Skoda Octavia 2014. Now this is a 2 litre diesel. Now the issue with this is it's overheating. So it needs a water pump. And if you do the water pump you've also got to do the timing belt. Now the problem with this water pump is it's a switchable water pump. Now a really good channel to watch this on is Dave Sterrell's channel. I'll put a link in the video. So go to his channel, he'll tell you all about this set up of the water pump. The thing's a disaster, should never been put out, should have been recalled. So <clears throat> we've had to go and buy a timing tool kit. So there's the kit there, I'll put the part number uh, in the description. I got this off eBay, it was £45. So this does I think the 1.4, 1.6 and 2 litre diesels. So that's that kit there. Uh, there's the timing belt kit there. There's a there's a part number of the kit there for it. And there's a water pump. So you've got to transfer the actuator over uh, and put it on this. This is just a normal water pump. It does away with the, the bit that springs in and out. So I'll show you on the instructions here. There's instructions here, it just says you have to transfer it over. So that's a switchable pump, and we bought the non switchable. So transfer it over. So that's that, that's that. Uh, so I'll try and just give you the salient points again. Oh, the engine code is. <coughs> I'll get back to you. The engine code is CUP. So, first bit is peel back the fuel filter and the coolant bottle, so disconnected that electrical connection. That's the three bolts that hold in the fuel filter, and it's just a matter of untangling that and keeping it back. You just want access to here. Then we'll release the tensioner down the bottom here. Now, we bought a new tool at the weekend, or some tools. So it's Nelson, five-piece ring spanner set. I think it was £23 or something like that. So we need the 16mm spanner here, and this will fit lovely onto the tensioner. I'll leave a link in the description of my video if you want these set of spanners. Highly recommend. Recommended, Ruddy? Yes, turn down nothing still. <laughs> Aye, that's right. So there you go, that spanner fits lovely onto that, and then we've got to put a pin in there to retract it, so I think maybe a, a 2 mil drill pin or something. No, we've got the right drill for that, eh? Right, well, I'll get back to you once we've done it. Let's just put the little pin in there the tensioner uh, to retract for the serpentine belt and we should see that goes over the alternator at the top then the compressor then round the crankshaft and then back through the the tensioner pulley so you always put them back on the direction they came off there we go and we'll mark that belt ready we'll mark the belt Remove 4mm Allen key from the side of the timing belt housing. Roddy's uh, removing the tray underneath the engine. So we've removed the front pass, uh, front driver's wheel and the inner wheel liner. Now that's a myriad of T25 Torxes. As you can see that gives us access now to the crankshaft pulley. So that's got to come off, and then we can time it up from there on in. And then, as you can see, uh, Roddy removed the, the, the... What was that, T25, Roddy? T25. T25's everywhere. So use this, uh, let's see, 10 millimeter, like, multi-hex, or whatever you call it, bi-hex, whatever. So that, it goes in there. Then we can remove the crankshaft pulley. Oh, it's a bit tight that. Maybe no. So that's that's the crankshaft pulley removed. Just have to put a screwdriver in it. It's just a wee bit tight and just wedge it out. So then we'll remove the, bolt, the lower bit timing belt cover. I need to turn it behind. So there is the belt 
that's all the covers removed. It was a bit painful, that. But look at the water pump. There's coolant leak for that water pump. So, guys complain about overheating. It's, it's actually coming out the middle of the thing, I would say. It's not coming out the surrounding. So, we're going to change that. So, that's just got our pins in. Uh, got that one in the crankshaft there, and then there's one in the, the pump. Down there, it has to be timed, and there's a little H mark, and our little H mark, the trailing bit of the H is up against the pin, with the top of the tooth against the pin. And I'll show you the bolt. We've got our tool in there, and that's everything at TDC. And then there's a idler pulley there. What else is it? And it's a water pump. And then there's another uh, tensioner pulley. Well, that's that there. We've only got one idler pulley on this one, eh? Two. Yeah, there. Oh, so there is. The there's a wee in there. That is not usually there on the... Ah, two litres, I think. Two litres. Morning, everyone. So, sorry about this video. It was kind of cut a bit short. We got involved in the job and I forgot to film. So, I'll give you some of the pointers that helped us complete this job. So, one is you've got to remove this temperature sensor up here at the top so you can get this, pop out this top uh, belt cover. Now, that's quite painful to remove, actually. Uh, it kind of comes up and rotates itself out. The other thing is, you've got to, we left the fuel filter attached and the coolant bottle attached and we just simply moved them to the side. Uh, when you're taking this engine mount off, I should have showed you this, there's actually these spline bolts that go through. Now, within the, the bottom of the engine mount, there's a cavity that you can release that bolt out. So, that's another pointer. What else? What else? Kind of thing. It was a fairly straightforward job actually. Once you got into the timing belt, it was no problem at all. So the next thing we've got to do is vacuum out the system. Now one of my subscribers had asked about this. Um, we got this a few years ago off of eBay, thirty pounds. So what you do is you just connect a airline to it, and I'll, I'll show you. It just vacuums down the system, and you usually get to about fifteen to twenty inches of mercury, and then you just leave it and you, what you lo want to look for is a leak because you see the vacuum deplete so it works pretty good and when you go to fill the system uh, it fills it pretty quick but sometimes you've still got to bleed it depending on the system so we'll, we'll connect the airline and show you when it's doing this you'll see your, your hoses clap There you go. There's a clap hose there. 15 inch of the so I've already got to turn the tap off. Disconnect the airline. Then you leave it. What you're looking for is leak, so I'll leave it for five minutes and come back to you. Right, so there we go. After 10 minutes, we're having a bit chat there, so oops. You can see it's it's held its vacuum, so the next thing we do, we disconnect that valve. Then, if you notice, we've, we've shut off this bit. Then we put in our, our coolant line. And you put it in our, we've already made up coolant. And all you do now is just turn the valve and watch her go. There you go, it's instant. Oh, well, there we go. The telltale bubbles up here, so we've run out of vacuum. It's quite a tidy procedure. Let me just connect this thing up here.
like what's it? It's got a rubber bung where it you get various sizes actually. So I showed you that. Oh, there we go. There's another two sizes, and then you get the hose and the air adapter. And it's just a matter of running the car and top up your coolant and bogs your umbrella. Right. Oh, you're not up for the tickets to here. Ah, you get tickets to here. Tickets to here, man. So that, as you can hear, that's it started and it's sounding dandy. We've we'll bled the system, the heater is working. So that's good. So, I meant to let you see this. This is the old water pump that came out of it. And I'm sure it, it's absolutely seen solid because I took our airline and I tried to. I'm to do this one handed here. I blew in it there. And you see there's no any actuation there. This is C solid, so indeed that's what the problem was. And we us doing the timing and everything, putting it back together, we ran a code scan. And good news, no codes present. So once you've done a chain, a, a timing belt, that's always your a, what you call it, your worry. So there we go. Good job done.